Welcome back to my channel. Today we are testing out the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I know this has been out for a while, but you can only get it online and I hate ordering makeup online. So I was just like, I'm gonna wait until it gets into stores and then I'm just gonna be late to the party uploading a video. And then also we're testing out the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. I've heard this is really good and my eyelashes needs all the help they can get. So we're gonna be testing those out today. It's like 7.30 in the morning. I got my matcha latte. But you know what? We're gonna do it. And we're probably gonna do a wear test. I do have to go somewhere right after this and wear a mask for like three-ish hours. So we're really gonna put this bad boy to the test. I've heard it's so amazing and I'm ready to see what it's all about. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I was in Target last night and I saw it. So I just had to pick up this. I didn't even want to go to Target, but my husband asked me to go for him and I'm so glad that he did because I would have had no idea that this was in stores yet. So thanks, hubby. I don't feel like they had a lot Lot of shade ranges. I kind of just had to grab whatever I thought was closest and I picked up the medium 375 in. So hopefully this works. I feel like it's pretty close to my skin, but we'll see. I'm gonna make it work. I ain't got time to change it after I put it on. So this packaging is so freaking perfect. Like I love it. Ugh, it's so aesthetically pleasing to me. I'm just going to prime my face how I normally would. And I figured since I'm testing out some e.l.f. products, I might as well basically do a full face of e.l.f. For primer, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I haven't used this bad boy in a while, but I do love this. About that much. And just rub it right on my T-zone, basically. And I have my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. I don't know if I wanna do half my face with a sponge and half my face with a brush, but start off with one pump. We can always add more. I always end up taking way too much, so we're just gonna start out a little. This is probably not enough though, but I'm just gonna put it on the back of my sponge and just start crushing it into my skin. This is a pretty good match. Good job, Chanel. It's so hard to determine matches, especially with COVID, because you can't test anything out. It is very lightweight. I don't even feel like I'm putting anything on my skin right now. Like I feel like I'm just going in with a wet face sponge. So this feels really, really nice. This would be really nice for those people that don't like feeling like they have a lot of makeup on, but still gonna get a nice coverage. It says it's color correcting full coverage with a natural finish. I agree with the natural finish. I don't really know if I would say full coverage. It gives a good coverage. Full coverage? Mm, maybe for like a CC cream full coverage, yes, but well, I don't know. It kind of covered up that spot that I always have trouble covering up. And obviously I'm using a sponge, so I'm not going to get as full of coverage on my face as if I were to use a brush. So I think I will use a brush for the other side, but I don't know. That covered up that spot right here pretty well. I feel like this is such a good match for me. I, it didn't change the color of my skin. It just kind of made everything even, like my skin tone. I'm going to take a clean brush. This is the BS Small Face Round Brush. So we're going to use that for the other side. I'm just going to get another pump of this and then and just dab it on our skin. Oh yeah, I already feel like this is better coverage. I didn't see the brush that this comes with there. I barely even saw the CC cream. I'm sure the brush that is made for this is really good too. It's basically a dupe for the IT Cosmetics CC cream in that brush. Oh yeah, I love this side. This side is so good. I feel like since I used a sponge, this is more of a very dewy finish. This is more natural, but I love the way it looks with the brush. I really don't need to, but I'm just gonna add a little more to this side where the spots where I feel like didn't get the fullest coverage because I was using a sponge. I really don't absolutely need to, especially since I'm just gonna be going in with the mask right after I'm done. But so far, I'm loving this. Like, I didn't think I was gonna like not like it, but I didn't really know if I was going to absolutely love it. Okay. I feel very, very glowy right now. I don't ever really feel this glowy or look this glowy. I don't know if that's just my skin or if it's this. So I forgot to mention that it does have SPF 30 sunscreen in this, which is very good. I already put my sunscreen on, but it's always good to have more. But this is interesting. It says, apply one to two pumps of the CC cream to clear skin using our e.l.f. complexion duo brush to achieve an airbrushed finish. Like I feel it looks pretty airbrushed when I use my brush. But it says, whereas a moisturizer and full coverage foundation depending on your needs apply 15 minutes before sun exposure and then reapply at least every 
two hours. So I feel like it's not telling you to reapply for coverage every two hours. I feel like it's saying reapply for, you know, the sunscreen every two hours, but it's SPF 30. I don't really know, but so far so good. And now I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. camo concealer. I don't really know if I'm going to include this part in there or if I'm just going to like speed through it, but I'm going to be using all e.l.f. products today just for the purpose of this video. I mean, I love e.l.f. Don't get me wrong but I don't really ever do like a full face of elf, so. Now I'm gonna go in with the Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara in the shade Black. They get an A plus for packaging. I love this color, this is so pretty. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's very cute. Let's look at the little wand. Oh yeah, yeah, I love these wands. These are so good. Kind of reminds me of my Tarte Man Eater Mascara, which is my favorite, so I have high hopes have high hopes for this one. My drawer was just like chilling out the whole time so you can see it. I'm gonna take a spoolie and just kind of run through my brows first to kind of poke myself in the eye apparently, but to kind of unclump them. My eyebrows like to clump together. They stay together. And then we're just gonna go in. I'm so excited. Volume that hits all the high notes. This formula is intensely rich pigments. Easily coat lashes for a bigger and bolder look. The sleek, flexible wand hugs every single lash with both vertical and horizontal bristles to apply, define, and add dimension. Add to eyelashes from root to tip for an extra push. Use the bristles at the top of the brush for bottom and hard to reach lashes. Wow, for one layer, that looks really good. It is freaking clumping together right there, but I kind of figured that was gonna happen already just because it was clumping together before I put mascara on. But I think they look really good for one layer. As you know, you may not know, I don't know. I have like such tiny eyelashes since I did lash extensions. Any mascara that can just like make my lashes look longer, I rock with, okay? This side did not clump like the other side and it looks really good too. I'm liking this mascara. Hope it doesn't transfer in. It did. It did transfer to my lid, but I can always easily wipe that up. But I'm gonna do a bottom layer. Now I'm just gonna go in with one more layer on the top and just see if I can get this really looking volumized and lengthening. That looks so good. Like my lashes never look like this. Ever, without falsies, they never look this long. Okay, I think that looks so good. Other than my like eyelash clumping right there on this side, 10 for 10 recommend this mascara. It is only $6. It works probably even better than my favorite mascara, the Tarte Man Eater. Love this mascara. As for my foundation, I like it. I'm kind of like flaking on my nose, but my nose was pretty dry when I put this on. So we will see how it wears with a mask, but this is what my face looks like right now. I'm gonna try and spray it with my Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist. Sometimes it doesn't wanna work, so. Well, it's just gonna like fountain on us. Why doesn't it work? Just looks like I ran through a sprinkler. We're just gonna go in with the Milani Make It Last. There we go. I look like a freaking drenched wet dog right now. Okay, so here is with all of my makeup done. I think my face looks pretty good. It looks like I'm wearing a high-end makeup, but it's really just the e.l.f. CC cream. I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna put a mask on for like two, three hours. I have to go somewhere. And then later in the day, I'm gonna come back and do a wear test on it to see how it all wore with a mask or wore throughout the day. It is 8.20 right now. And I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I guess I will just see you guys later today. Okay. It is, uh, let's see, 12.08. I just got home and I've wore a mask for the last three and a half hours. And I feel like, I mean, you can see a little line right there and across my nose. My nose is kind of like flaking off a little bit. And then you see another line right there. But other than that, it looks pretty good. I have my mask. This is the first time I wore this mask. And other than like my lipstick marks right there, there's not a whole lot of product on my mask. I mean, there's a little bit like right in here and around the edges. But other than like the lipstick right here, it's not that bad. Most of my makeup is still on my face. Other than like just the line which with any foundation that I wear, I always have lines after taking my mask off. I don't know if it's just because it's like so tight right there or what, but those will eventually like fade away. And other than that, my makeup looks pretty 
pretty good other than like the places where it's rubbing off on my nose like right there usually unless you're like actually going to work or something like that you're not wearing a mask for three and a half hours straight usually you're just putting it on for like 20 minutes taking it off getting in your car, going somewhere, putting it on for another 20 minutes. I definitely think this holds up with a mask. I mean, I did set my face too, so that is probably what's making the difference. If I didn't set my face, this probably would have smeared a lot more. But yeah, just keep that in mind. I feel like with any foundation nowadays, to be able to have it be mask proof, you have to set your face. And then my lashes still looking good it's definitely like smeared down here on my lower lash line but other than that it's still good they still look full and voluminous and longer than like just like if i were to wear a different mascara so i'm gonna come back in about five six hours and give you the final wear test update but yeah so far so good see you in about seven hours Hey guys, so I am back. It is 618. My makeup is still looking pretty decent for the most part. I took a nap on this side earlier. Don't mind my freaking pimples and stuff coming up. It's getting close to that time of the month. But yeah, I feel like my makeup still looks really good for putting it on at 7.30 this morning. I'm really impressed, honestly. Like this lives up to the name of what it says, like a full coverage foundation and it really lasts you all day. Like it could be an expensive foundation, but it's not. It's only $14 and it's a CC cream. I would give it a 10 for 10 probably. I haven't touched up any of my makeup. As you can see, my lips are completely off. I hope this video helped you if you were on the fence about wanting to buy this elf cc cream or not really is really really good i like it and my nose i still kind of have like the slightest line going across my nose but like i said the lines on my cheeks are gone and i feel like my nose isn't that breaking up anymore it kind of just like mended itself together or something my eyelashes i don't know i feel like they're kind of just they're not as volumized as they were earlier but like i said i did kind of not really take a nap but i just laid down for a while but they still look good they, I just don't feel like they looked as great as what they looked earlier and then I do have like transfer down here from my mascara but I feel like that's kind of pretty typical especially you know wearing your makeup for you know 12 hour day but yeah I feel like it looks really good so if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below what you want to see next if there's anything else you guys want me to review try out if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me and I guess until next time I'll see you in my next video bye don't like feeling like god I hate doing that I feel like I have a damn hair on my cheek let's start off with Ah, if my nose would stop watering. Cut it out. So I think I... It's my stomach growling, if you guys can hear that. I got a hair on my face. Get off of there. You don't belong there. See you later. <laughs> see you in about four hours. See you about... See you... See... What the frick? Why can't I talk? Mm -hmm.